Let me be clear, Dr. Craig. It feels fantastic to hug a woman who's not your wife. I just want to be clear. I'm not doing it. I'm just saying. Way of life as cute. Even in a hundred. Assalamualaikum, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a very special guest. The exciting, the well-spoken, the super handsome, enough about me. We also have Dr. Craig over here too. Something major in the Muslim world has happened. If you do not know already, this video is going to be about Mo Salah doing a photo shoot with a woman who's hugging him, and that's not even his wife. What the hell is this? Audu Billah. Before we get started the video, please make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. And let's jump into this video. What were your initial thoughts or reactions to the whole thing? I actually thought about a story of Jesus, man. When, Talk to when me. he does something that is quite famous, he draws you know, a line in the, stand, in the sand and he's like, those have not committed a, a sin. Like you can throw throw the first, first stone. stone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I yeah. and I think this is really important. It's bigger than just like sin, right? Yeah. It's it's also like, who who are we to judge? You yeah. know, like we all have our, we all have our faults. We all mess up. You can't take this, we're holier than thou attitude to this man. Like everyone messes up. And even in Islam, we are essentially taught that sins that are private between you and your Lord are meant to be private. And you're supposed to seek forgiveness for them in private. However, the issue is that this is being done in public and it's for a GQM magazine which millions of people read and I think that's the biggest issue and if you're complaining about this it shouldn't be from the perspective that he's ruining the reputation of Islam it's just exposing a weakness with him like you know it's just exposing a weakness with you know temptation and just like anything else and we know that one of the biggest temptations in this world is money mm -hmm. fame and women like, and you know it's, it's just one of the temptations that we have maybe he did mess up a little bit maybe he didn't recognize or maybe he wasn't thinking about the impact yeah. that this could have on people. Yeah. Now, that is something that we all deal with. Bro, I think Habib has just set the bar so high. There's so many viral <laughs> videos of him. A woman's coming to shake his hand. He's just like, no, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. You know, like he set the bar really high. The truth is, it's really hard to say no to a hug. The truth is, it's really hard to say no to a handshake. That's the truth. I'm not me. I'm making excuses for him because that's the right thing to do. However, this doesn't disqualify you from the criticism of actually doing the wrong thing. Yep. Dr. Craig, I think one of the biggest issues that Muslims have, people look up to Mo Salah so much, right? Kids look up to Mo Salah. Kids might be like, but Mo Salah hugged the woman, I guess it's okay to do that. And here's my advice for a child who gives you that reasoning. If your child is doing something like that, you have failed them as a parent. There's not a problem with Mo Salah. There's a problem with your parenting. The fact that you would allow your child to be influenced to that degree where he's getting their hair cut like them, wants to do everything like them, including the actions that they're doing, you're failing them as a parent. Like, just because he did it doesn't make it okay. Like, Mo Salah, it's okay to be influenced by Mo Salah on the pitch. That's cool. But for your lifestyle, for the way you think, our influencer is the Prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. peace be upon him. No one else. You are not them. You yes. know what I mean? And like, we, you're you. Yeah, we need to, parents need to teach their children, like, you are unique. Be you. Yep. Friends need to, to teach the same thing. Like, don't, don't be a follower. You, you are not replicable. You yeah. cannot be replicated. That is not God's intention. No. So that vertical thing and just knowing that, like, God has a plan for you. Like, follow, follow your path. Don't follow a path of another. Because then... You're never going to reach your potential. It's okay. You can admire Mo Salah for his kicking skills and all the stuff that he does great. But the true admiration, that our true inspiration, our leader, example that we follow is the Prophet Muhammad, is Jesus, is Moses, is all these people. Those are the best of people because God sent them to teach us how to act and behave. Listen, all I know is that Mo Salah, after hugging that girl, is going to have to make Mo Salah. <laughs> <laughs> we are making this a big deal because it's amplified because it's Mo Salah and he's a world renowned football player. But my man Mohammed Rafiq at his job hugs Sandy all the time. He's hugging and kissing Jessica. Oh, my, my, is everything okay, Jessica? Like, that's cool. No, it's not. I think another thing that we need to consider here is like the importance of exposure and talking to people before you make judgments about them. Like, I don't know if Mo Salah has made a public statement about this yet. Not that I, I know. I don't know if no. he's come out on his social media and be like, hey, this is. This is why I did it. Switch off your social media. I don't want to see your face. I think that is an important part of this as well. Like, yeah. what are what are his intentions? We all have our Islamic beliefs and Islamic values, and we need to make sure that we hold our guns to those sort of things. You know what I mean? This idea of, no, don't judge me, makes everyone feel like you can't even critique something without it coming off as judgment. And we have to understand that there's a thin line between judging someone and tarnishing someone's character for what they've done versus actually critically critiquing something and making some points out of the matter. Because the truth is this, most of 
law, myself, Dr. G over here, like, we're not above criticism just because of our status yeah. or whatever the case might be, nor is that regular person on the block. But that doesn't mean that you attack a person's character. Like, most Allah has done so much good for Islam and removing Islamophobia, especially in the UK. Proven that, like, he's actually it works. improved relations. It with works, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly, right? People are, are, are forgetting that he's a human being, he can mess up, and just because he makes a mistake, this doesn't take away from all the good that he has done. And I just want to say that if this was like a hijabi sister doing the pose for some regular dude, we would have flipped out even more. But there's some people right now who's saying, no, don't judge him, he's cool, this and that, but no way. If it was a sister, all hell would have broken loose, yeah. right? I mean, like Muslim Twitter would have blown up, you know what I mean? Let me be clear, Dr. Craig. Sure. It feels fantastic to hug a woman who's not your wife. I just want to be clear, I'm not doing it. I'm just saying, the idea, the temptation of hugging a beautiful woman is there for a man. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us in a way where men are attracted to women. That's just the vibe, that's just what it is. So I get that vibe. However, that doesn't mean that we start worshiping our nafs, our deepest desires to do whatever we want to do. Paradise is found by struggling against your nafs, that inner desire, right? Because the, the road to paradise is narrow, but the road to hellfire is wide and it's filled with fun things to do. But to get to paradise, you gotta sacrifice your inside desires that go against God's word. Muslims, Christian, Jews, Hindus, Buddhists, we all deal with this stuff. And, 100%. And the Islamic, Humans. In the Islamic yeah. tradition, and I also think that this concept relates to the Christian tradition, is sure. jihad, man. Your, the Prophet Muhammad actually said, this is the greater jihad, the the struggle against oneself, of, of, of oneself, yes. of temptations yeah. of society. Sure. You know? So like, yeah, I mean, maybe he did mess up. Like maybe he didn't think about this critically, but if we start judging people on one event, yeah, or their whole one, career on I mean, one thing, that's, evolved, not, that's not fair. That's not true. And that's not what Islam teaches as well. You know what I mean? Like it's okay to critique the moment, but not the person. And we need to identify hating the sin versus hating the sinner. We hate the fact that he did that, but I don't hate most a lot. I actually feel bad for people who are succumbing to those things. And I would want to ask, you know, like most Allah is in the public eye and everything like that. My thing is just like, who are his friends? You know what I mean? Like the prophet taught us that we are on the religion, on the lifestyle, on the way of life of our friends and if we don't have good friends to guide us and correct us to say hey mo listen bro don't do that like i don't think it's a good idea what do they want you know I mean like maybe he didn't know maybe they said hey mo we're just gonna take some pictures of you and the next thing you know she's just hugging on it bottom line big lesson here when someone messes up before you rush to judgment ask them hey what were you thinking like yeah. when you did that like, ask him up. let's get an official statement from exactly. him like go up calmly like compassionately objectively and just say hey I was wondering, you know, why did you choose to do that? And yeah. like, let them, let them explain, explain themselves. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, it's like, it's like, why are we speaking on their behalf? Yeah, it's like due process of law, man. This yeah. is how it goes. Like, you know, you're, you're kind of, you're, you're innocent until proven guilty yeah. type thing. And yeah. like, yeah, it doesn't look good necessarily, like what he may have done, but like, give give the man a chance to speak about it you know like it might change I hear you. a little bit final point being this we all need to focus on our own connection with god and stop worrying about what other people are doing stop looking for influence and guidance and role models for anyone besides prophet muhammad the messengers of god and everyone who align you back to worshiping allah alone well that was the video guys i appreciate you watching so much thank you so much dr craig constantine if you don't know his work this man is legend please check out his stuff his instagram and all his links to his social stuff will be in my description below. Tell us your thoughts and your feedback in the comment section below. What were your major takeaways from this talk and what were your thoughts overall about Mo Salah and his entire thing with the Photoshop? Uh, the, thing, uh, yeah. the, the, the thing, the thing. Listen, if you benefited from this video, please smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. And until next time, I'm out. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> Assalamualaikum. <laughs>